Hello everyone, welcome to my lecture series of power system analysis. Today we will discuss about Gauss Seidel method for load flow analysis. Basically, Gauss Seidel method is a little modification of Gauss method. That is, in case of Gauss method, voltage values obtained for each bus in present iteration are used in next iteration. While in case of Gauss Seidel method, voltage values of some buses in present iteration are used in present iteration itself. Okay, this is the only difference between Gauss method and Gauss Seidel method. This can be done by spreading the integral in two parts. The integral in two parts. Q equal to 1 to n is equals to Q equal to 1 to P minus 1 plus Q equal to P plus 1 to n. The integral is spreaded in two parts. While doing the load flow using any method, we find the voltages at all the buses serially. Like, first of all, we will calculate the voltage at first bus, that is V1, then V2, then V3. Likewise, up to N, we will calculate all the values in any particular iteration. Suppose, suppose in any iteration, if we are calculating the voltage at pth bus, means in that iteration, we have already calculated the Voltage is at bus number 1 to P minus 1 bus. Okay. So, these voltages of first to P minus 1th bus should be used to calculate the voltage at Pth bus in that particular equation. Means, suppose we are calculating at voltage at Pth bus, then the voltage value of first to P minus 1th bus should be used as updated values, while P plus 1 to n are non updated value okay oh. and this can be seen in the given equation in, we are calculating the voltage at pth bus pth bus we are calculating the voltage at pth bus okay means we have already calculated the voltages at first to p minus 1 bus in first iteration okay so these values should be updated values while in case of Gauss method, it was not like that. In that case, all voltages wa was of previous iteration. This makes the difference. Means if we are calculating the voltage at pth bus, pth bus, so the value of first to p minus 1 bus should be used as updated values because we have already calculated these values in this particular iteration. While P plus 1 to nth bus voltages are not calculated, are not calculated in this particular iteration. So, these values should be used from previous iteration. If we are at first iteration, then these values will be initial values. Okay. Okay, let's take an example of, take an example of 6 bus system. Bus number 1 is slack bus. Bus number 1 is 6 slack bus. We are calculating V4 at first iteration v4 at first iteration means p equal to 4 and q equal to 0 we are calculating at first iteration first iteration means q q k equals to 0 k equals to 0 then only we will calculate vp1 vp at first iteration okay okay if we will, we will put p equal to 4 and q equals to 0 then we will get v41 equals to 1 upon y44 P4 minus JQ4 upon V4 conjugate 0. 0 means the previous iteration values or initial value if we are at first iteration. Okay. Minus Q equal to 1, 2, 3, Y4, Q, VQ, 1. 1 means we are at first iteration and the values of 1 to 3rd bus voltages values should be of first iteration only. Plus Q equal to 5 to 6, Y4, Q. VQ0. VQ0 means these values will be initial values. These values will be initial values. Okay. Means we have already calculated V1, V2 and V3 for first iteration. Basically, there is no need to calculate the voltage at first bus because first bus is slack bus and at slack bus, the voltage is already specified. So, V1, V2, V3 will be used as updated values 
while v5 and v6 will be used as non updated value okay if we expand this equation we will see something like this we will see something like this okay in which voltage v1 v2 and v3 are updated values updated values or the values obtained in first iteration itself means we are calculating the v4 in first iteration and the we are putting the values of first iterations only for voltage v1 v2 and v3 while v5 and v6 will be taken from previous iteration because we are in first iteration that's why these values should be initial assumed value okay why while in case of cost method it will be like this like this at first iteration suppose we are calculating the um, voltage at fourth bus then all the voltages v1 v2 v3 v5 and v6 are taken from previous iteration or in this case because we are at first iteration so we are taking the v1 v2 v3 v5 v6 as initially assumed values initially assumed value so Gauss Seidel method gives more impactful solution compared to Gauss method because in current iteration we are uh, we are uh, taking the updated values in the calculation. So this is more effective solution compared to Gauss method. Thank you so much. In next lecture we will discuss about Newton's